Hello and welcome to another episode of Star Trek The Official Starships Collection. This time we will have a brief overview of issue 33, which is the Cardassian. And now the funny part, how to call it, a Hideki, Haideki, Haideki, Haidekai, I have no idea how to pronounce it, sorry. But it's the Cardassian Starship. As you can see, it's another 2014 model. Released by Eagle Moss, licensed by CBS Studios. The stand is pretty standard and stable. And this is the model itself. This is how it looks uh, from the top side. Not of, a lot of nice details. There is a nice painting on the... What is it? Left side? Right side? Uh, depends on how we look. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice. Nice painting. Uh, Nice, really surface detail. And this is the back side. A detail of the painting on the hull. This is the bottom part of the model. I tried to zoom in but my camera refused to cooperate. But I think it's quite nice to see all the detail which is in the model. And as usually this is the bit where I s try to put the whole thing together. I <coughs> Again, sorry for my voice, I'm still ill. Now, this is the model, how it looks on the stand. It's uh, really one of the nicer models. It looks really great on your shelf or wherever you decide. Now it's time to check the magazine. It's the Curtisian something class. It starts as usually with the description, the stand assembly. These are the statistics about the real starship. A nice render of the model with some in-universe statistics and details. Nice pictures from Star Trek Deep Space Nine where you could see it very frequently. And this is the detailed view with the description of what everything is. Nice sketch. The article about designing the model. It started as a physical model, but later they switched to CG as usual with DS9 and Voyager. Jim Martin, the production illustrator on DS9. You can see many of his sketches here. I really like this pre-production stuff. A 
Antki appearances. Both of them were on these nine. And next issue was the Vulcan Surak ship. <laughs> 